So in the overview, we showed you that the System 1M is like the System 1 with patchability and this great voice architecture. And just like on the System 1, um, the System 1M supports plug-out uh, technology. So here I'll start my TB3 again, play a little bass ostinato, playing one of the presets with the System 1M. But now what we'll do is we'll instantly shift to the plug-out synth and maybe pick one of its timbres. And you see this is the Promars synthesizer plug-out. And a couple of things that are so exciting about the plug-out technology is it is a complete recreation of the Promars synth now running under the hood of the System 1M. Simultaneously, I do not need a computer to load in these sounds or play with these capabilities. Now notice, this synthesizer, the Promars, had two oscillators, but it didn't have two independent waveform choices, so those aren't lit in the Promars plug-out. The um, Promars had portamento, but it didn't have a pitch, independent pitch envelope, and so the pitch envelope is not lit up. Um, it didn't have a, a choice of sub-oscillator, and the sub-oscillator is not lit in the mixer either. It won't do anything when I choose a Promars synth. This is really kind of cool that it re-sort of uh, configures the hardware as well to reflect the plug-out software. But the thing that I especially like is that all of the knobs on the System 1 and System 1M control all the knobs on the plug-out virtual synth. So the audio unit uh, that comes with the plug-out can all be totally controlled. Here I'm changing the amplitude envelope, I'm changing the filter cutoff frequency, and we see the knobs changing, the amount of resonance. I'm changing the basic oscillator wave shape, and that selection is changing. I'm changing the mix in the mixer, and that's changing. So, what a great way to control, what a great way to control your VST. Complete and full, every single control in the VST is totally mapped to the hardware synth that you're using. You can layer these sounds, and again, that plug out is instantaneous. Here we are back to the System 1 bass. Notice both oscillators are lit now. Notice the sub oscillator is available now. Back to the plug out. Totally different sound, different filters, different oscillators, and yet they're both under the hood of this machine and fully controllable in real time from this massive control surface as a VST. And the plug outs run as VSTs all by themselves. I don't need the System 1 to use the plug-out soft synths that Roland makes available. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, the other thing related to this is that every single parameter in the System 1M is controllable via MIDI. So if I use any MIDI controller, all the parameters are controllable. I can record all of that MIDI data as well and do real-time performance-based sound design. A really exciting new possibility and all of that's possible with the System 1M as well.